What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to factory reset, also known as a hard reset on your iPad mini sixth generation. Welcome to Surge Tech. My name is Sergio. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. There's gonna be useful links to everything that I talk about in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video now. All right, so a factory reset is something you wanna do in case your storage is almost full and you just wanna erase everything on your iPad because sometimes when that happens, your iPad starts freezing a lot and it doesn't work normally anymore. Also, if you enter your password in wrong too many times, your iPad will also be disabled here. So I'm gonna be showing you two ways to factory reset it. One, I'm gonna show you through the settings in case you do have your password, and then also show you on this screen in case uh, you don't have your password or it's disabled. So you can also reset it back to its factory condition and continue using your iPad mini six normally again. Let's begin. All right, so first I'm gonna show you through the settings. So go ahead and find your settings. Here in settings, it's gonna be in general. So you're gonna to go to general, and then over here on the bottom of the right column, it's gonna say transfer or reset iPad. So you're gonna select that option. And then here you're gonna select the bottom option, which is erase all content and settings. Here you're gonna just go through the prompts here, hit continue, it's gonna ask you for your password if you do know your password. Then it's gonna ask you to confirm to start the reset process by hitting erase iPad. Once you hit that, the reset process will begin. Your iPad will be completely reset back to its factory condition. All right, I'm gonna show you now how to do it in case you have a password and you don't know it, or if your iPad is also disabled, which I'm gonna go ahead and disable it now so you can see. There you go. All you're gonna need is either a MacBook or a Windows PC with iTunes installed. And you're also gonna need the USB type C cable so that you can connect to your iPad mini six. So let's begin. What you're gonna do is first go ahead and connect the iPad mini six to your Mac or PC. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press volume up, volume down, and then we're gonna press and hold the power lock button until the iPad screen blacks out. Once it blacks out, we're gonna let go and press and hold volume down, which is this one, and the power lock button until we enter restore mode. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Volume up, volume down, press and hold power off lock button. So there you go, once the screen blacks out, let go and press and hold volume down and the power lock button until we enter restore mode. Once you see that, you can let go. That is restore mode. So let's go ahead and place the iPad down. On your computer screen, you should receive this message right here if you have iTunes installed and also make sure you have it updated to the latest version. I think now it's called iMusic, it's not uh, iTunes anymore. So make sure you have iMusic installed. Um, when you see this message, you're gonna hit restore, okay? Uh, then you're gonna get this second pop-up. You're gonna select restore and update. So here, go ahead and hit agree. And first, it's gonna download uh, the new iPad software. So you're gonna have to wait until it finishes downloading. Once it finishes downloading, it's gonna automatically extract the software that the iPad currently has on it, and it's gonna then install the new one that is being downloaded right now. So since this does take a little while, uh, here it says it's gonna take me 28 minutes to download it, the iPad might get out of restore mode. If the iPad does get out of restore mode, all you have to do is repeat uh, the process with the buttons that I just showed you to put it back into restore mode. But make sure that you finish downloading the software so that once you put it into restore mode again, it will automatically move to the step of extracting the old software. So I'm gonna wait till it finishes downloading the software and then I'll continue recording. All right, so it looks like the software finished downloading on the computer. The, the iPad is out of restore mode though, so we are gonna have to put it back into restore mode. Um, but that's fine, we'll go ahead and do it. That way you guys can follow through as well. So once again, volume up, volume down, press and hold the power lock button. And then once the screen blacks out, we're gonna press and hold both volume down and the power lock button. Okay, so release it and press and hold, volume down and power lock button. 
until we see the restore mode screen. There you go. Once you see that, you can let go. Let's go ahead and place the iPad down and we're gonna get the message here on the computer, uh, PC or Mac. Once again, hit restore. Okay, restore and update. All right, so there you go. As we can see, uh, it is now loading the restore bar over here on the iPad. On the computer screen here, we can see that it shows restoring iPad software. So once the software complete, once the software finishes downloading, it will automatically jump to this next step. It will first extract the software from the iPad uh, and then restore it with the new software. So we're just gonna wait until the bar completely loads and then we're probably gonna get another loading bar. And then after that, the reset process should be complete. So now as we can see on the computer screen here, now it says restoring iPad firmware. So we're gonna wait for that step to finish as well. And then after that step is done, we're gonna get this message here on the computer, which will say your iPad has been restored to its factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So now we just have to wait for this second loading bar to finish loading up and the iPad should boot up completely factory reset yep there you go as you can see loaded up pretty quickly so yeah your ipad is completely reset back to factory condition you can now start using it normally again now once you see this screen you can go ahead and disconnect it and uh, all you have to do now is just go ahead and follow the setup steps here to get your ipad set up and begin using it so yep that is how you perform a factory reset also known as a hard reset on your ipad mini sixth generation Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give this video a like. It really helps the channel out so that we can get this video out to more people and help them out with their iPad. So that's all I got for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.